Hello guys and welcome to the first episode in a new playthrough here in Victoria 2 with the historical project mod. Today we're going to play as the Netherlands. Uh, do please ignore my... Um, yeah, just ignore the save games here. Uh, it's not like I was originally going to try and make an interesting let's play by play playing Bavaria. It's not like I uh, spent hours and hours restarting over and over again to try and figure out how you do that. And uh, it's not like I eventually just gave up and decided to make a really unoriginal, fucking boring let's play instead. No, that has absolutely nothing to do with it. Um, but yeah, here we are in the nation of the Netherlands. The most cucked kingdom on the European continent. Because uh, we... Well, when was the Belgian Revolution? I think six years ago. In history, anyways. Uh, but yeah, so six years ago we lost our southern holdings, and so the United Kingdom of the Netherlands now is just the Netherlands. Not optimal. Even worse, the Belgians are very good friends with the British, making the reconquest of the Belgians rather difficult. Adding to the cuckening is the fact that our country brothers, or, you know, yeah, that doesn't really work in English, does it? Like, our, our peoples, our old colonies, have uh, have all been taken from us. That's a lie. We still hold Indonesia, but... I mean, this is HPM, so, you know, we only have these, like, awkward enclaves all over the place. But we got a, we got a bunch of decisions, and I think even, like, unique CBs to an extent. Though why exactly we have irregulars is a bit beyond me. I guess it's just to just drive home the... how cocked we are. But... Last time I checked, anyways, um, the Netherlands is pretty based, just in general, so we should be able to uncock ourselves to an extent. And uh, all of the Reddit strategies I read to try and figure out Bavaria didn't work, but uh, that's not going to stop me from finding more Reddit strategies to see if I can pull off this whole uh, Netherlands thing. Because uh, we have many. We have many historic insults, if you will, that we must uh, rectify. Yeah, I'm actually going to risk deleting these cav here on the off chance that I can get them re-recruited as some decent units. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have to declare war on the Belgians pretty early. We do start with a truce with them, but if that truce runs out, we get an event that kills us, basically. Or that removes our course. I, mean, I think you can deny it, but I don't remember. It, it's, it's bad, basically. Uh, most of the strategies that I've read revolves around um, revolves around uh, trying to kill the Belgians early. This will, of course, involve fighting the uh, the British, which is going to suck. But what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, medicine. We probably should get medicine. We have like no people, and we need more people if we're ever going to have a long-term plan or victory. Uh, let's see. Uh, no need for options. There's no micro nations to turn off in this. Um, we are independent in terms of economic policy, so we could jump for... I think honestly I'm going to stay pro-military. I have a bit of uh, gamer PTSD from uh, being stuck on permanent jingoism in As Bavaria and having no money, so... I want to see if I can not die economically. Of course we own Indonesia, so economy probably isn't as... Or it probably shouldn't be as big of a deal. But that's not going to stop me from being overly careful. I mean, it's not like we're going to run off and fabricate any CBs anyways. So. No, instead we must focus our efforts on... Oh, really? You can barely build transports in Asia? That's an unwelcome change in this version of the game. Oh, well. It is what it is. But yeah. Oh, we're going to need some of them in mercantilism to get more money. Then we're going to need probably soldiers. Although, nah, we do start with some decent soldiers. I mean, most of the soldiers are going to be from Asia anyway, so... I don't think I'm going to focus on that. Really? I can only have one focus? Damn, yeah, we really do need Belgium back. I don't think we start with Flemish as accept, though. I think we get a decision to accept them later, so... There should be a way here to um, to sort this whole stress out. All right. So the sort of general strategy. Oh, nice prestige. Hell yeah. Actually, that's useless. 
uh, because I'll, I'll, I will lose all my prestige when I truce break. So that is actually completely meaningless. Oh well, but yeah, the general strategy is to ally Prussia and then have them beat up Prussia or Prussia. Uh, you ally Prussia and have them beat up Belgium and Britain for you, but um, we're not going to do that because there's an event that hands over these two provinces to Prussia. And honestly, I don't actually mind the way my country looks without these provinces, but I don't know. I guess out of principle, I don't like that idea. So instead, we're going to ally France, um, not because we need or well, I mean, I wouldn't mind their help, but the AI is kind of dumb, and so. They will do dumb stuff if I um, if I call them in, counter to my giga brain plan here. Um, so the main reason we are allying them is because France starts out as friendly with the um, they start out as friendly with the uh, Belgians. So uh, we stand potentially here having to fight France and the United Kingdom, and I would prefer limited limiting that to only the United Kingdom. Thank you very much. And so here we go. So basically the strategy here will just be to slowly, but hopefully surely, start shipping as many units as we can over to, um, or as many Asian units as we can over to Europe before the truce runs out. And then, yeah, just sort of take things from there. God damn it. Can you stop giving me prestige events? I keep saying that they won't make a difference. Also, yeah, we start at war, don't we? So we should probably, like, you know, do something. Oh, yeah, hello. It's a decent army. I mean, you don't want to just peace out, do you? No? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have sent all the troops I just built home already. Jump the gun a bit there. Oh, well, we'll just hold the forest and hope that they attack us. I don't know. Maybe we can call Portugal in to bail us out. Portugal, help. They will help, actually. Nice. Get in here. <laughs> Go kill Atza for me. Very important. It is of absolute importance. Denmark, help me. We need very help. Yes, they will join. Everyone, get in here. <laughs> Let's kill Atze. Never mind, they just gave up. Okay, well, that's convenient. What's not convenient is the fact that um, I can't build artillery for some reason. So I switched over to the Nationalists in the hope of like building an artillery factory. But, but if I'm going to have to postpone the war until I can actually like build an artillery factory, then, then I'm not really sure if we're going to be able to do this in time. It seems maybe I need to perhaps consider playing a different mod, because if we literally cannot get artillery, which is kind of weird, I mean... I guess, well, I guess we the problem is we don't start in any sphere. Uh, that's I guess that's why I got. Uh, oh come on, really? Oh, that's a lot of people dead. Oh shit! I forgot. Yeah, we are playing the new version of this game, aren't we? So whoops! I honestly totally forgot that as a constitutional monarchy, you can't just willy nilly um, change around your political party. So. Oh well, I guess we should make use of it then and actually slap down some factories while we have the opportunity. Man, it kind of sucks having to waste all my coin. Well, I mean, it's not waste, but having to spend it all on stuff like this. When, you know, buying artillery. I mean, yeah, I can't get any bolts either because I can't get artillery. Which is fucking annoying. Well, I guess our, you know, pseudo-constitutional shenanigans is... Uh, at least going to let me get rid of slavery early on. But whether or not that was a good idea, honestly, I'm not entirely sure. Because, yeah, actually, no, we... Yeah, that probably wasn't the best idea. I probably, probably should have waited a bit, but... It doesn't matter that much, at least. Whatever minor gains you can get in terms of output from slavery are generally not that big of a deal. Plus, uh, getting, rid of, rid of, getting rid of slavery is a crowd pleaser. I mean, I'm sure the slaves themselves don't mind it, but... I mean, you know, not being slaves, I mean, but... Honestly, by the time we're ready for war here, we might honestly just... Uh, we might. I mean, at this rate, we might just wait until the truce is over. I don't know. Oh, actually, no. Right, too many great power allies. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, because usually I've, actually, I've, I've often seen the Netherlands go ally the Russians. 
But obviously we have a very important strategic reason to ally France, who has run off to invade Mexico. A bit early for that. It's not, not, it's not the po Napoleon time yet, but... I guess they really wanted those debt repayments, because that, that, yeah, you're definitely, you know, this is definitely economically logical. I actually saw them do that in my uh, Bavaria campaign. I mean, you know, the campaign that shall not be talked about, but... Interesting, nonetheless. The severe retardation of the AI never ceases to amaze. Right, so I actually noticed that it says that we won't actually lose anything for truce breaking. I guess it doesn't count if we have cores? I don't know. Well, I'm as ready as I am ever going to get, so honestly I don't see the point in postponing it. So we'll just start the war. Honestly, I'm not sure if calling in any of these allies will... That probably won't help. I mean, I like how Mecklenburg will actually help me here, but... I honestly think we'll be better off not inviting those people. And instead just going in raw. Hey Belgium, remember us? Oh yeah, those rules. That's what I need. Uh, so yeah, Portugal did annoyingly enough join, but uh, at this point the idea is to blitz the... Oh really? Well that's a bit of a... Uh, that's a bit of a jump to conclusions, wouldn't you say? But sure, if you are feeling confident, then who am I to judge? Oh shit, here come the Portuguese, though. Oh wow, and they're actually bringing some buys. Yeah, we're probably going to need to do something about that. How the fuck did the Portuguese have such a huge uh, transport fleet? That's not normal. Shouldn't be. But yeah, actually losing provinces like this was definitely not part of the plan. Hopefully we can kick them out relatively straightforwardly by just doomstacking, which, you know, I've said repeatedly, is a viable strategy in the early game. Oh yes, show them your doomstack. That is Simon van Marnk's click. So I guess part of the gigabrain thing you do here is that... Um, while obviously waging war in Britain isn't the... Stu well, it doesn't seem like the smartest thing to do. The uh, perhaps surprising thing is that... The um, the British honestly don't start with that big of a transport fleet. At least, well, I think so anyways. If my starting transport fleet is anything to go by. So if we can just secure as much of this shit as possible. That should then gradually allow us to ascend to gigabrain status. We're strong, independent uh, Netherlands who don't need no Prussia. Oh shit, no, here they are though. Okay, maybe maybe I do need Prussia. Maybe I'm not so strong and independent as I thought, but... Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? I think the British start with some decent tech. Yeah, they start with 6 out of 3, but I think that's the rifle thing, and I think that's mostly an offensive thing, so... As long as we are on the offensive using our Giga Chad General... Oh yeah. Even the British will melt in the face of Dutch arms. And as you can see, you can rack up some nice um, battle war score here. One big problem is the fact that they got that uh, they got that war score thing here going, which is bad. Although here's an interesting thing to know. We can actually add war goals against them. Despite the fact that we have occupied fuck all of their territory. Something to note for later. Right... Let's give these bastards some elections. But more importantly, here comes the gigabrain part. Because we 100%ed Belgium, we can annex them, regardless of the consent of the uh, uh, the British. And look at the war score now. Look how that changes things. All of a sudden, it isn't we who need to enforce something that's like 60-something war score. It's they who have to enforce something that's over 100. So... You might think they were going to get all those nice fucking tickers. Nuh-uh. Bitch. Now, now we are the ones who have positive tickers in our favor. And you know we will camp this at this point. Defender occupation. Yeah. They, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, there's a, there's a unit down here. So 
At this point, it's really just wills to see who is willing to bleed more. At least that's the plan, or at least that's the idea. Hell, at this point, we might even possibly call the French in. They will not accept them. Yeah, no, they are a bit busy invading the uh, invading the um, the Egyptians, I suppose. So honestly, at this point, I want them to uh, to um, to further invade me. If only so that I can get more battle war score, which I honestly feel like I need at this point. Because didn't I have a lot of that? Well, I guess I still do, but they're getting those sweet defender occupations. And this... Oh yeah, it's going to take like two years for this to enforce. Uh, that's okay. Well, that's a bit more drastic than I maybe thought it would be, but... Oh well. Alright, so I strategically waited until we could actually get some healthcare reforms. I mean... If we're going to be sitting here being blockaded for a couple of years, then uh, might as well use the militancy, eh? Oh god, yeah, okay, now the economy is starting to take a hit, though. That is a problem. I mean, first of all, we don't need to pay for that navy, and that's dumb. Um, I do kind of want to pay for the army, though. Only recently we had a pretty decent British landing. We want to make sure we are ready for when they land next. Alright, so we have officially in entered the point where we can, or where the British will accept white peace. It should hint at them um, wanting out soon. Which of course means we can enact the Giga Brain part of this plan. Which is to add goddamn South Africa. So yeah, it'll be a while until. I probably. Shit, I should have added that earlier, honestly. Oh shit, here they are though. Ah. No, remove British, remove. But yeah, we'll add those South African colonies. And then once we have kicked out a couple of more of these landings, then in theory we should be able to peace out with that land. In hindsight, I should have actually like spent my in you know like I should have spent infamy on something while just sitting here, but honestly I can't be arsed to restart over something like that. I don't need to min-max everything. So yeah, we can immediately add our next thing, which would be British mm -mm -mm, British Eastern Cape. Yes, yes, whatever. Now I don't know. Oh, our war score just went down a lot. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I guess. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. What's up with that? Yeah, that Guyana thing, honestly, is the main thing that's cucking us here. So I guess we have to try and wait, or yeah, we have to win in the next two years or it's game over, because then we'll start getting negative tickers on uh, on the Cape stuff. Alright, we have finally reached it. The point where they would actually accept this piece. Of course, now the question is, can I resist my own greed? Because um, the main reason they're willing to um, peace out right now is because they ha don't they don't have any blockades on me. But those tickers are happening, or those yeah those tickers are still happening in my favor. And while their tickers are really starting to hurt too, the Guyana one has actually maxed out. So there is only so much that will do. Um. There's still some battle war score to be had, so I think if we can kill one or two more landings of British troops, then we might get one or even two more war goals. And if this campaign is... if the, if the theme of this campaign is going to be to undo the cucking that the uh, Dutch Empire has suffered in the past, then surely we must reunite Zealand, as in... We must make sure Old Zealand becomes united with New Zealand. So at that point I guess we just go back to chilling. And maybe even get another reform out of this. That would be nice. But yeah, there you go. You can see their navy came back there. Ooh, oh yeah, that... Okay, maybe... 
I mean, at this. Okay, now here comes another army, though. Another lovely little lad for us to give a right proper trash in. Valonia gets loose as pops. Hell yeah. Kill them all. They betrayed the crown. They have no rights anymore. Well, I mean, they do technically, but. Our constitutional. Mo oh shit, actually. Oh, okay, well, I guess I shouldn't have stopped them from trying to land there. Honestly, thought they wouldn't, but or whatever. All right, got ourselves our pop growth shit. Ideological thought has been secured. Fuck, I don't know what we take now. Bit late to do miltech, I guess. So, um, yeah, we can't get any more. Can't get any more focuses, regardless. But. I guess the plurality gain of um, state and government is regardless pretty nice. Probably, well, maybe, yeah, let's honestly real quick grab um, Experimental Railroad. Because we do have a lot of flat land where that can be used pretty nicely. Alright, let's give them a good beating there and get that plurality going. Chase these burritos danos. Uh, we'll just do liberals. Oh yeah, that helps the war score. Oh, I think that did the trick. Yes. So I did add the other one too. So acquire Cape Colony, acquire British Eastern Cape, acquire North Island, acquire South Island. Bam! That was an absolute meme of a war. And that took a lot longer than I honestly kind of expected and hoped, I guess. But... Oh, very glorious. Ah, we can even sneak in. Ah, not healthcare, really? Ah, I don't have germ theory. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll get those rights going. Very fucking nice. I'm glad I took that risk of uh, trying for some more. Look at that! New fucking Zealand. Fuck you, Britain. Of course, I doubt we'll ever get enough Dutch people over here to actually state it, because there's like barely any Dutch people in this world. Actually, no, there's a... what's this? Ah, oh, there's actually a decision. The rival European settlers, locally known as Pekaha, has resulted in an increasing amount of land purchased from the Maori. While this has improved local conditions, it has angered a large portion of the Maori... Po Maori... Of the Maori portion who resent the European presence and accuse the Dutch of breaking... So I guess it's this is a generic event that we can get. So, although the popula population increases by 20%, the Maori lose stuff. I mean, we kind of have to take this. So it will all be... Yeah, yeah, it's basically the English event. It all, it all renames it to English stuff. And I probably could go into the files if I wanted to to fix it, but... Let's face it, I'm probably going to be too lazy to do that. I do have another thing I do want to sneak into the files and do later, though. But, uh, oh, the economy of New Zealand. Okay, so we actually, oh, look at that. Coal and livestock, bitch. Hell yeah. That's neat. That, that, that's one of the reasons I like HPM. It's like, I don't know, it's railroaded in certain ways, but a lot of the events are cleverly made to be generic, so... If you were to get your hands on New Zealand, you can like inherit a bunch of this neato stuff. So yeah, that definitely goes on the list of shit that is neat. Now, good thing I saved up a lot of money, because in, the, in the end there we were fucking struggling at hand with that coin. How is the intellectuales? Not up to mool. Flanders percentage is 3%. I think we'll honestly swap to Valonia. Once again, we have good literacies. Actually, no, it dropped a bit there. Well, I mean, I guess we conquered a bunch of illiterates down here. Stupid Boers. Speaking of Boers, how can I go about making them my good friends? Make amends with the Boers. Yeah, so we treated them rubbish, basically. I mean, there's a reason they started migrating north, even before the uh, British arrived. So we need plurality, prestige, money, phenomenalism. Not really sure what that is. I don't know if it's an invention. 
normalism. Ah, okay, well, it's just this one. That, that's not too hard to get. I don't know why we need psychology to accept Boers. I guess they need to be convinced using advanced techniques. Uh, not restricted rights, not residency. That can be done. Free press. Free press, really? Uh. Bruh. I have to be constitutional monarchy? But I want it to be absolute. Don't I need to be absolute monarchy to get uh, Artois? Claim Artois. Come to Artois. Jigoism national. Yeah, I do need to be absolute monarchy. Well, what the fuck then? Okay. I don't know. Maybe we won't get the Boers then. I don't know. How do I get the. F oh no. I have to be constitutional to get the Flemish too? They also have a fuck ton of shit. Honestly, that puts a bit of a dampener on my glory here, but let's not dampen it too much because uh, at least I am. I mean, honestly, I feel like I needed this after the horrible failures of that Bavaria campaign that we shall shall not speak of. No, I will not try and do that again. Fuck that shitty campaign. I say that. I mean, I'm. Who knows? Who knows what will happen in two years or three or I don't know however long until um, the um, paradox inevitably makes uh, Victoria 3 oh, Great Forest are never gonna make it yeah they are yes they are and I've said multiple times I don't want them to make Victoria 3 because I have a feeling it's not gonna be better than this game I'm not saying this game is like that great but I just I don't know man then again I mean CK3 was honestly a pretty good release, but so, I mean, so I guess as long as, long as Johan doesn't get his hands on this, on this sort of series, then achievements might be had. But I don't know, I mean, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to get a great power ally. But honestly, at this point, we have so much infamy that we're probably just going to be sitting on our arse doing fuck all for a while. But honestly, I don't mind it when I know that the infamy was spent on such glorious things. As these territories, very nice. So yeah, we're gonna wrap this episode up here. Thanks much. Actually, yo. So one thing, actually. Yeah, I mentioned I was gonna fuck with the files, and originally what I was planning, just gonna make it clear, I was gonna try and restore absolute monarchy either via those reactionary events you get in this period, or via just a good old uh, reactionary revolt, uh, which you you can make happen. It isn't the most difficult thing. It's really the dif the difficult thing is you know having to get two of them. So it's basically impossible to get absolute monarchy or monarchy at all as a republic. But you can restore absolutism as a monarchy, pretty not straightforwardly, but you know it can be done basically. What I'm trying to get at is that uh, I wanted to change the flag because I'm not a huge fan of this flag. I mean it's fine. It's just that for a nation with so much glorious history and just generally being so based. Such a gener generic flag, and I know you know Russia ripped off the uh, the Dutch flag, and then Serbia ripped off the Russian flag, and it, on and on it goes. So really, calling the Dutch generic is kind of unfair because they were kind of the first. But there's the Princeton flag, uh, which is the which is my favorite, the orange uh, orange. Basically, it replaces the colors with orange. But the Dutch don't like that flag because the fascists took it over. It's kind of like how the Germans can't use the imperial flag anymore because, you know, it's been associated with uh, right-wing shenanigans. So, instead what I'm going to replace the flag with, well, you'll see it in the next episode. Or maybe actually, you know what, let me do it right now. Ah, yes. This. This is nice. This is the flag we always needed. So, yeah, as you can see, I also went ahead and got the square uh, frame mod so that we can see it in all its beauty. And yeah, I, I know that it objectively looks kind of dumb, but um, also, yeah, I spent a bunch of time, an embarrassing amount of time, honestly, trying to figure out the exact historical context for this flag. And I don't know, it seems it has something to do with either the Admiralty or like I've seen version with the orange or something to do with the Dutch East Asia stuff or I don't know. Point is, though, I have literally seen it in the real world. When I visited Amsterdam uh, some time ago, 
I remember, you know, being at the port area. I remember seeing like an old wooden ship, presumably like an historic thing. I don't know what was up with that, but I do remember at least one of the flags being flown was this one, or at least a similar one. Uh, and yes, for those who probably feel what I feel, this is the flag that it's that is used for the Dutch in Empire Total War, which is why I have such a nostalgic attachment to this flag because uh, the Dutch are one of the most fun nations in that game and obviously playing Empire Total War you must always go absolute monarchy and when you go absolute monarchy in that game and you know you start as a republic and if you go absolute monarchy you get this flag so that's what we're doing I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the thumbnail or not but uh, I don't know I'll leave that decision up to future Green Force maybe I'll do it just for the just as a miserable attempt at trying to make my thumbnail more unique Although I fear it's going to just confuse a bunch of people and, I don't know, lower my views, but I don't know, who cares. There's a billion Dutch uh, Let's Plays on YouTube already, so it's not like this video is bound to do that well regardless. So, oh well, I feel good about this though. I needed this after all this, after, oh, after all that time failing as Bavaria, I needed some, like, good meme success. And Dutch South Africa and Dutch New Zealand is definitely, or, probably, Neuseeland? I don't know. Regardless, very nice. Thanks for watching this episode, lads. Until next time, bye.